G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you, I do hope you are super well. Today I want to talk to you about a relatively new manufacturer of CF Express type B cards as well as SD cards. Now this company is known as Nova Chips and they are out of South Korea. And they have invited me to have a look at their products in order for me to give some feedback. Now, Nova Chips have let me know that they have associations with companies like Samsung as well as Angelbird. We can see absolutely this looks a lot like the styling of Angelbird cards. So South Korean company, as we know, Korea, Samsung, one of the biggest creators of memory. What is exciting about these cards especially for me, the CF Express Type Bs, is that they are pushing some of the fastest sustained speeds that I have seen for CF Express Type B. Now they have sent me two, two levels of their product. We have the extreme level, this is the fastest, and it is running at a sustained speed of 1,650 megabytes per second. That is sustained write speed. And that is enormous. That is way more than what we need currently for 8K and being able to sustain it. This is a 660 gigabyte card. And then there's this product, which is a little bit slower. It has a sustained write speed. So we're not even bothering to talk about the burst. A sustained write speed of 1000 megabytes per second. Now that is still more than enough to cover 8K video and it's two terabytes, which means it will go on for a very long time if you're shooting, for example, 10 bit 8K. Okay, let's now go next level with the Nova chip two terabyte. We're sitting here in the Z8. We've been recording for one hour and 22 minutes. And as we can see on the thermometer, it is 25.5 degrees. That is the ambient temperature in this room. We have a hot card warning and we also have the red hot camera warning. The camera has slowly been getting hotter and we're coming towards 90 minutes of Nikon 8.3K 12-bit Nikon RAW at 24 frames per second, which is probably the only sort of frame rate, maybe 25, maybe 30, that you would use for long form video. What's really interesting here is the camera actually overheats just before we fill the two terabyte card. And it's giving us here a countdown. But I'm really impressed. We are sitting here with the camera and you can see the Z8. There it is in the frame. The card door is not open. The battery bay is not open. I have external power running and we have gotten basically a full feature film, 95 minutes onto one card before overheating. And you'll see at the end here, the ambient temperature is 26 degrees when the camera finally turns off at just shy of the 95 minute mark. 26 degrees is a pretty standard operating temperature. It's almost 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually air conditioning will run in environment, depending on where you are in the world, anywhere between 21, 22, and maybe 25 or 26 degrees. This is pretty standard. Now, of course, some parts of the world are much, much hotter. The bottom line here is Nova Chips has created an affordable CF Express Type B card that handles heat well. And even for the rigors of 8.3K Nikon RAW 12 bit, you can shoot a movie in one take at 26 degrees. That is very epic. Alrighty, let's talk pricing. The CF Express Type B, the Express card, which is not as extreme as the Extreme, 512 is $170, 1 terabyte is $250, and 2 terabytes is $370 US dollars. If we go extreme, 330 gigabytes is $210, and 660 gigabytes is $300. Nova chips also supply a high quality range of SD cards, V60s and V90s. V60, the 256 is 70, the 512 is 140, the 1 terabyte is 260 US dollars. 
the V90, 128 gigabytes is 110, 256 is 220, and 512 gigabytes is 450 US dollars. Why I wanted to show this card was to demonstrate how SD is now more expensive per gigabyte or terabyte than CF Express Type B. We can very clearly see here that a V90 SD card, 512 gigabytes, is $450, where a CF Express Type B Express, which is not the fastest but way faster than an SD card, 2 terabyte card, is $370. And if we compare the 512 gigabyte to the other 512 gigabyte, it is $450 versus $170. This is a massive differential and shows how far CF Express Type B has come in the last three or four years. This truly is the format of the future it's becoming more affordable. It is certainly much larger, much faster, and way more robust. If prices continue to go in this direction, and I presume that they could go even lower as time passes, SD really does become a thing of the past. And the only thing keeping it relevant is its physical size. It's small. Alrighty, let's do a ubiquitous speed test. We all want to know how fast these things are. And quite frankly, I think I've worked out from this that they are faster than the camera's buffer. In HE Star, 20 frames per second, 45 megapixels, around 18 to 19 seconds, 394 images, then the buffer starts to splutter. HE Star, 15 frames per second. Well, it looks like that will go forever. I shot for 2.5 minutes 150 seconds we got 2254 frames with the buffer never spluttering and just simply reading i've still got 18 shots remaining and that was sustained lossless compressed 20 frames per second we get three to four seconds 78 frames lossless compressed 15 frames per second we get about 66 seconds or just over a thousand frames and then in APS-C lossless compressed it appears that we can shoot indefinitely. These are the hardest codecs and frame rates that I can throw at this card and the Z9. The tests were conducted with me formatting the card each time after running the test. Okay, that was the 660 gigabyte extreme card. Now we're going to jump into the 2 terabyte express. And what can be established by looking at the data in relation to the in inverted commas slower card, because neither of these cards are slow, even with a sustained speed of 1000 megabytes that we find with the Express card, this is still outrunning the Z9's buffer. So quite frankly, either of these cards is a really great choice. If you want to have a look at those numbers more closely, just pause the video. On the left, we find the 660 gigabyte extreme. On the right, the 2 terabyte express. We can see when it comes to read speeds that the extreme is faster. So that's how quickly files will get off the card into your computer. Now, I do not have the fastest card readers. I'm running Thunderbolt 3 here, so it's possible these times could vary a little. Taking into account testing variances, these numbers are coming in within roughly 5 or 10% to the very best read speeds of cards that I own. I suspect if I had the fastest card readers running on Thunderbolt 4, we would be getting much better read speeds. And we can see here that the specified sustained read speed is actually 1,700 megabytes per second. So I think the slower speeds are related to all the hardware that I have attached to my computer. The extremes also run at 1,700 megabytes per second. And I want to talk about these cards from a reliability perspective, because that's not something that you can test in one week. Well, I have had these cards for about five months, and you were seeing images here caught across the last five months with the Nova Chip K. 
Picard travelling into the alpine regions of Victoria and Australia, along with the Red launch coming up just about now. When I went and looked at the Australian Red launch, they put on this beautiful light and rain show, and I was able to test out the 50mm 1.2 and the 85mm 1.2. Nova chips. Five months in, these cards are looking great. They've come in and out of my camera many, many times. There's no wear on these cards, and obviously they are performing admirably. I ran all of the tests that I ran originally again just before releasing this video to ensure that nothing had changed, and the cards continue to perform as they did on the first day I used them five months ago. So after five months, I can say that these cards are fantastic. But of course, with anything like this, only time can tell. So we should circle back to this in a year or two. Don't forget to remind me. High quality cards, high speed cards, Nova chips, they offer a three year warranty on these cards, but they're new to market. So right now, where do you buy these cards from? Nova Chips are selling their products on Amazon. If you'd like to use the links below, yes, that does support the channel. And I love to maintain a high quality of content. So all of your assistance is greatly appreciated. And of course, using these links comes at no further cost to you. Now, this company, Nova Chips, they also make SSDs and they appear, doing a little bit of research online, they appear to have been making SSD drives for over a decade. And they've actually created their own architecture for the memory, creating very high storage capacities, 32 terabytes. And this is just in one SSD drive, a two and a half inch, the sort of drive that you might stick in your computer or in your laptop or in an array. And they create enterprise level solutions. Their drives are not cheap, but they're very high quality. And again, looking at their website, we can see that into the future, when we're talking about what's gonna happen next when it comes to memory controllers, and that's the chip that actually controls the conversation between the device and the memory that we are gonna get even more speed for our computers and presumably, if it's even necessary, it will be passed on to our cameras and our cards. To circle back to the Nova chip cards and what does the future look like? These are very high performing in the current standard that we have in all cameras. I'm not aware of a camera yet that has the 4.0 CF Express Type B standard. And that may even include the brand new Sony Burano, which is the newest camera, to the best of my understanding, to this is a Sony camera that uses CF Express Type B. It might be the first or almost one of the first Sonys to do it. And I think it's really good to see that camera moving on from CF Express Type A. This format continues to have more options in the market, CF Express Type B. It's cheaper per megabyte and it's faster and it will always be twice as fast as CF Express Type A. I hope more and more Sony cameras move over to CF Express Type B because ultimately there's gonna be more choices for Sony users in that market. And I look forward to sharing more with you about these cards over the coming months. All right. Please let me know what you think. It's been so good to see you. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like. Bye for now.